hello guys welcome to this tutorial continuation of the last class we had so today we'll be talking of algebra of set but before that we treated um i gave an exercise so today we are going to be looking at it so um, the first question and the exercise was that we should represent the following sets in descriptive method so the first set we are, we are seeing here we have the m set m having by row ruler compass and a set square so now this is you know we can, we can say it's a what we can represent it descriptively like this x such that x is an instrument in the mathematical set right and again the next, the next one was set f f now we can describe it as y is so that y is a multiple of 5 we have 5 10 15 20 25 and then 30 and the next one we was in, in an enumeration method represent the following set in enumeration method we have set out a x x is a real number between so now the keyword here now is what is between so between 11 and 22 so we have three numbers between 11 and 22 so we are starting from not 11 so we are starting from 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 let me add those we have 17 yes comma we have 18 and then we have 19. Remember, we said the other does not matter, right? So the next set to have the, the next and this thing was B set B. So now set B now is from X X such that X is an odd number from 90 to 20 to 101. So we have 91, 93, 95, 97. 99 101 so that, that, that so now that was the first question we had we, we gave so the next question was if if a is this one two one three five seven nine eleven thirteen and b is one five seven c nine thirteen and d determine the relationship between a and B. So now we we'll see that A, B contains 1, 5, and 7. So we can say A is a superset of B. Or we can also say O, B is a subset of A. So the next one we have in between C and D. So C is a subset of D. Or we can say D is a superset of what? C. And then the next one we have A and D. So A is a superset of D, or D is a what? Subset of what? A. Then the next one we have 13. We can say 13. 13 is what? It's not an element of B. And then the next one we have that what? 13 is an element of C. And the final one was. So the final one was final is in F. You see, so we note so um subset of superset and element of. So what is A to set B, C and D? So A is what is that is outside these three relationship. We we'll say A is what a super the universal set. So the last question was give examples of finite and infinite sets so that we cannot so that was last last week exercise so this week we'll be talking of algebra of sets so the first reason we have is the union union sets so the union of two sets so throughout try to this and we'll be using these examples of this one. so the union of sets let me put it this way 
union set the union of two sets a union b this is a set containing all elements in either set a or set b or both set a and set b so now we'll be using examples examples to better explain what i mean so now if we have a universal set this and okay the same a a universal set we have set a to be two four whatever and then we have set b to be this so now the union of set a that is a union b will be all the sets in a and all the sets in b that is but we are not going to repeat any element so we have two because two is in this we have three no we have four let's start with four we have six we have eight we have ten we have three we have five we have seven we will not write two because we have already written two so it is set in a or in b or in both so the set in both so we can say or we can give another example we have um e let's say e union f so e union f will have a we have b we have c we have d c and d they are already written there so we we'll go to e and then f so that is for union of sets so the next and this one we have there is intersection of sets mind you this is not you it's written as okay then the next one we have is not n intersection of sets written as mm -hmm. so not the intersection of two sets x and y is a set of all elements in x and y so now in this in our examples now we have an intersection of sets to be uh, let's say okay, let's use another example a let's use a intersects let a intersect c so using a intersect c so using a intersect c we we'll have we said is the element in A and C. So checking A, we have two, three, we have four, we have six. Six is in A and it's in what? Is so right. So our element now we are starting with six. Um, we check again. Eight, eight is in A but not in C. Ten is in A but not in C. So we have only six, um, resulting to a singleton set. Then we have B intersects C. So you, you, you do the same thing. You check for sets in A, in B, and C rather. So we have 2, 2 is not in C. We have 3, 3 is in C. Okay, so we have 3, 3 goes in. Then we have 5, 5 is not in C. And seven seven is not in C. So that is B intersection C. So I also say E intersection F. E intersection F will have A, A is in E, but not in F. So it's not among B, C, we have C, C is in E and F. We have D, D is in E and F. And these are not so we can we stop them so now that is intersection of sets the element in set okay inter intersection of sets element in a that's not in b so so now the next one we have here is what complement of sets complement of sets given that a is a set is a subset of the universal set this the complement of set a are elements of a not found in this okay let's 
it is written as so the complement of set now is written as okay let's we are talking of a now so the complement of a now is a c or we are write it as a prime so so now that is a representation of a complement of set so now let's take our example again for our example we have a now a Two, four, six, eight, and ten. Our universal set here is what? One to ten. So now our example here, our A complement will be. So for our example, our A complement will be. Uh, that is number three. Our A complement will be what? We have two here. So one is not in A. Two is in A, so we can write it. Four. Three is not in A, so we write it. Then six, four, is in five. We have five. Six is in A. Seven is not in A. We write it down. Eight is not in A. We will not write it. Eight is in A. Sorry. Nine is not in A. So we we'll write it down. And then ten. Ten is in A. So we we'll stop there. So that is the complement of set A. Then if we have B. B complement. We have one. One is not in set B. Two is in. Three is in. Four is not in. Five is in. Six is not in. Seven is in. Eight. We have nine. And then we have ten. So that is set. that is B complement. So now, you say complement of a set. Given that we have given set A, that is A is the subset of a universal set. The complement of set A, the complement of set A are elements in the universal set that are not in A. So the next one we have is disjoint sets. That is, this occurs when the intersection of two sets is zero. So now, two sets are said to be disjoint when when you, you write out their intersection, you get zero. Okay, let's let's take our example again. So our example, so number two, X is an alphabet. So let's see. we have set F. For my example, we have set F intersect G. So we say an intersection is a set containing elements in F and in G. So looking here, we have C. C is not in G, so you cannot write it. So let's start. We have D. D is not in G. We have E. E not F not. So G is not H not I. You cannot find it in F. So we're having F intersection G to be empty. Or or this. So now our F intersection G. Is a what this joint set so both F and G intersecting then gives a this joint set so now that is this joint so now the next this one we're talking of is um, cardinality of set so this is the number of elements in a set and you write you write it as what okay let's take or in a set maybe a set a so n So now it is written as as that n open bracket a. So now the cardinality of the set is the number of elements in a set. So let's take for instance our example we've been using. Let's take for instance set e. So we have number five. So let's take for instance now set e. So the cardinality of set e. Not five. So the cardinality of set E are elements in E. Like there is a number of elements in E. So we have A being one, two, three, four. We have four. Okay. Let's take G. Let's take G. So that would be we have one, two, three. So that is three. 
you can actually set the number of elements you can find in the set so the next one we we'll have there is power set so the power set is a set of all subsets of a given set a so written as a So for set set A, so that is how it's written. The power set B open bracket A capital P. The cardinality of power set is so now if we have our set A, so now the cardinality of it will be two raised to power okay two raised to power n. Here n is what n open bracket A. Okay, let's take for instance now. Let's use let's to use E. So for number six now we have E. So now the the cardinality of E is four. So now our the cardinality of the power sets now. So that is N. So that is so now the cardinality of the power sets, remember this are power sets, P, open brackets, E. So now the cardinality of the power set now is, so 2 raised to the power N, right? And our N here is 4, that is 2 raised to the power 4. So that will give you 16. So now let's, let's check it out. We have E, our power set of E is equal to, so our set E now, in this our example is A, B, C, D. So we're having, you see, our power set is a set of all sets, all subsets that can be found in the E set. So now we have our first set that can be found is an empty set then the next set you can find is a um, so we have the first empty set then a b c d a comma b a comma c a comma d then we have a comma B comma C. Uh, let me just write everything. So those are the cardinality of the sets. So we have 16 of them in number the empty A B C D A comma B A comma C A comma D A comma B comma C. So now these are all the subsets that can be found in set E. Set E containing A, B, C, D. So yes, that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the power set of set E we have here is, is, is this. The set containing all elements in set E. The subsets of all elements in set E. And finding the number, the cardinality, we have to raise power the number of elements in set E, which is 16. That is 2 raised power 4, which is 16. And now we have seen that the total number of elements or the total number of subsets you can get from set E is 16. So that is for the power set. So, so let's let's look at another example on, on power set. So let's take set C here now, for instance. C containing three elements. So that is C. That is a set C. Having three elements one, sorry, three, six, and nine. So now to get the the cardinality, we we'll say that the, the, the number of elements first of all is three. So the cardinality will be as n of the cardinality of the power set n of e of c will be equal to 2 raised to the power 3 so that is 8 so now the power set which we say is the 
set of all the subset possible subsets in this thing. So we'll start with the empty set, which is this. Then we we'll start with three. Then um then six. Then nine. Then we we'll have three and then six. So the next subset will be three comma six. Then another one three nine. Three comma nine. And the next one three. Oh, we are done with three. Six and then nine. And then the last one, three, six, and nine. Three, comma, six, comma, nine. So these are all the possible subsets. Oh, let's count it first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that there are eight in number. Like we said, the cardinality give us eight. So these are all the possible subsets in the power set of that I'm getting from C. So now the so now that is all for today's this guys on algebra of of set. So these are the exercises that we can use to practice on on this um, practice on the algebra of sets today what which we have learned today. So the first one is if A is a set this B is this set C this d and e is this set and then the universal set is e such that e is an alphabet from a to j or a number from one to five what is a union b being a intercept c d minus c so this one we did it in the last in the last is a what we talked of difference of sets. So I I didn't give an exercise on it, so I decided to add it up here. Then we have a union B intercept this, then this, this, then so F we have E. So now which pair of the sets which of these two sets can you combine to give a disjoint set? So that is for the this thing. Then for this universal set, let's let just let just um, do this. Thing. Our universal set will be we say is an element E such that E is an alphabet from A to G. So we have A, B, C, D. Um, so now, or a number from one to five. One, two, three, four, five. So that is the universal set. So thanks for watching. See you in the next lesson. But make sure you. You try those exercises. The exercises are there to review, learn, and see if you have learned anything. So, thanks.